Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PFX. Um, I would like to thank all of you for your support, your likes, your comments. Please keep doing so and I will keep giving you high quality updates like this each and every week. So while I roll the intro and disclaimer, hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys, uh, as usual we'll start with the Dixie, um, as I said last week we had a weird candle and uh, it was uh, really a weird candle so we will not uh, think much about uh, this close here on the daily because it's a, it's a glitch or something like that. So uh, last week um, actually the Dixie uh, did um, a continuation as uh, expected because I told you if we break about this neckline there is a possibility for retest and continuation. So far we are going uh, um, in that direction. So if we go back to the daily time frame what happened, what really happened that we now um, keep holding above this uh, key level of um, support and resistance here you know that this area is an important level and now the Dixie is holding above it after a uh, retest on the lower time frame another push higher now if we measure this uh, correction we uh, reach at the uh, 618 Fibonacci retracement and we are about to test another key level of resistance which is up here so for now our levels on the Dixie and if we go down to the four hour time frame the key areas uh, are uh, let me get rid of this now. So the key areas we have on the Dixie to keep an eye at is this high here and this level down here. There is a possibility that you may see the Dixie going uh, sideways between these or in case of a uh, strong break above uh, this previous high to then test the extreme high up here. So uh, as for now, still a bullish market. Uh, daily time frame we're still trading above the 200 uh, moving average on the daily and the longer uh, time we spend above this monthly pivot point the more uh, possibility for a bullish continuation yeah so dollar still bullish for now oil uh, <clears throat> well as I said uh, last week as well there is a possibility for a retest to this area and continuation to the downside but uh, oil did actually manage to break above this level uh, making this uh, strong push to the upside to then get rejected back down making now a, a bearish flag so did that uh, break above uh, these levels change the major structure i don't think so especially if we look on the daily time frame we're still in a, um, a bearish move which is um, as you see here making uh, still we have lower highs lower low another lower high and uh, this last lower low now we knew that uh, this area down here gonna be an important support level looking left we see how many times that was tested so it was a clear level of uh, support and resistance here and uh, the uh, reaction at that level was uh, mostly uh, expected yes but structure wise again as i said on the daily we still have lower lows and lower highs and this could be just a retest and continuation but before that we need to see that this structure uh, getting broken again and the oil hold below if that is the case we are going once again to test the 51 so keep an eye uh, on this level for next week you may go with some kind of um, trend line or this uh, bearish flag here that is ongoing and on uh, any break below that that could signal uh, the continuation so for um, a bearish move we need to see a break below this area and if that is the case then we are looking for another retest of the 51 i still think that is the main scenario here to see oil going back to uh, 51 especially if the stock market keep moving lower 
Uh, to change this bias, I need to see oil breaking uh, above this uh, previous high here and above the 200 moving average on the 4 hour. So it need to break above this or at least above this trend line making some kind of correction to then uh, look for a uh, higher uh, and longer term uh, move to the upside. As for now, I'm more bearish on oil than bullish. Uh, Gold keep holding above the monthly R2 and uh, keep holding uh, inside this uh, this area where we have this uh, very big uh, bearish uh, engulfing candle. This candle now is the mother of this um, move here. So everything will happen inside this candle uh, like this. So uh, this is going to be the new range and possibly uh, more um, sideways. But longer term my anticipation on gold that we're gonna see a retest of uh, the uh, 1550 a retest of this structure uh, if we look left there is actually nothing on the way here after breaking above this high as well i think the market objective is to at least reach that um, 1550 before any um, a bigger correction so still bullish but uh, start making some uh, bearish uh, divergence on the RSI to keep uh, be aware of that uh, and we have another bearish divergence uh, like this here so the, it could be time uh, soon for a correction but I, th but I think we do see first a um, a uh, spike uh, up around the 1550 area before that uh, move to the downside so in any case it is still bullish short term i would say keep an eye on this uh, monthly r2 level and these lows that is the short term support on gold uh, any retest of that area could be a level to look for buys um, but if we see a break below that and a correction that hold below then that will open the door for a deeper correction the first one would be at least monthly r1 and the second move could gonna be if so uh, this low down here around the uh, 1400 um, but all in all uh, this last scenario was against the trend and um, as you see we still have a very strong bullish trend here and uh, I think uh, the first scenario is more possible uh, that we see a retest to monthly R2 and probably a continuation to tag the 1550. That is uh, the most likely case in my opinion and the safest one because you are going with the trend and not against it. UUSD is still bearish, especially now after uh, breaking once again, um, or once again after breaking uh, this um, key low down here. And um, yeah, if we look left, we have uh, not much left uh, as support until we reach this last line of defense down here. Uh, so um, a continuation inside this channel on the euro is very, very possible. Uh, daily time frame, you see also that. Uh, there is uh, actually not much uh, we have the body of these candles then we if we hold below that we gonna fill the wicks here so um, the euro did break uh, uh, this key support level here as you see been tested uh, many times uh, and held as support and now that is uh, broken on the daily time frame weekly time frame we have a bearish engulfing candle so uh, everything for now is pointing for a continuation <clears throat> so keep an eye on uh, this uh, channel that we have right now any retest toward this area again and showing you bearish evidence look for a possible continuation a break below this that will open the door for even more downside on this market when to change your bias on euro usd for downside well that would be a break above this trend line and above this uh, previous high here so if that is the case if we get a break above uh, 1.1120 um, then there is a possibility for a deeper correction once again to retest this neckline as for now it is still uh, bearish and bearish only sterling it's a little bit uh, in a bit better shape i would say uh, especially that we uh, broke and hold above uh, this area here we um, had this area acting as very strong support then acted as very strong resistance and now we broke above it uh, still it is not safe to say that we're gonna have this uh, kind of push but it is it could be a start now that we 
managed to break back above uh, 1.21 uh, and hold above it but still as you see we do have some troubles on the way we have uh, these highs here um, could um, act as resistance uh, as first but the longer term we hold above this level the more uh, chance there is for the bulls to keep trying to uh, push higher so um, keep an eye on that there is a little possibility of a reversal but <laughs> all in all this market is still uh, very bearish as you see and the the daily structure did not change and will not change until you see a break above um, above this high here uh, so uh, if that is the case on the daily you see a break above that high then there is a possibility for that retest of this level before then can she uh, may be looking for a downside move once again so bearish still but there is a little possibility of a reversal uh, the longer we hold above this level again the more chance for that break and if we break above this then you're going for a short term at least short term move to the upside on this market usd jappy uh, a bit of a choppy story here i still think uh, this market gonna fill uh, this wick uh, at least so 104.65 uh, gonna be a level uh, that the market have as an objective to reach it is still a bearish market on a daily time frame uh, weekly time frame as well and it could uh, make something like this once again retest of this structure before the next leg to the downside so if that is the case keep an eye on this level uh, around here uh, 107 20 107 that area gonna be a possible level that you may see bears uh, defending okay so uh, it is still bearish and we should only look to sell rallies as you see here last week we've been going uh, most of the time sideways uh, one thing talking about um, a possible bullish strength that we uh, have uh, this uh, higher low right now but there is no momentum if you s look at this move here there's no big momentum we've got rejected already once uh, we could consider this as a possible bearish flag as well and a break of it could send us back down toward this level and even maybe even lower so longer term i still think this market can attack 10460 and um, <clears throat> first level of uh, interest is uh, around these areas and uh, the second level as i said earlier around these levels up here could be also one more level to look for sales usd chief also uh, reversed nicely now on uh, this um, important daily support that i mentioned uh, last week and probably the week before so uh, after retesting that area we've got a very strong bullish engulfing candle and um, a continuation but on friday we tested the neckline and got rejected a little bit so um could be a, a profit taking scenario keep an eye on this neckline here uh, if uh, you usd chief to continue higher uh, it need to break above this level and hold above it to then keep pushing higher otherwise i think any strong break below this trend line could send us back down and maybe maybe break below uh, the structure uh, for this time okay so those are the levels you need a break above this for more upside otherwise if we break and hold below the trend line we are going uh, downside again especially if the stock market keep pushing to the downside once again USDCAD reached the monthly R2. Um, as you know, I've been looking for a sell from here. Um, it got spiked up, pushed lower, held at a yearly pivot point. Another attempt to make a new high failed here, as you see at the monthly R2. So on the daily time frame, we have a very nice yet again. So we have a shooting star formation with these three candles, and now we have an evening star formation with these three candles making a double top um with a nice uh, bearish divergence on the rsi which is also a, a strong reversal signal happening at uh, monthly r2 uh, and uh, breaking back below the 200 moving average 
uh, all that showing a possible continuation to the downside so on daily time frame there is nothing on the way until once again we reach the yearly pivot point down here and this low this gonna be a possible market objective for next week so for our time frame you see here that we had this evening star formation um, a reversal pattern again and uh, we had a nice continuation on friday so now we're sitting at monthly r1 and an fp high and i still think uh, there is uh, a possibility for this market to tag the lows i am in a short here and uh, i'm targeting as first uh, this level down here at as first uh, take profit so we're gonna keep an eye on this market where it is testing right now uh, it could be a level to see a possible uh, short-term bounce back to the upside that would be great that because that would be a retest of this neckline and maybe a continuation so uh, after this head and shoulder neckline broken and um, on the one hour so i'm talking about this head and shoulder scenario so we broke the neckline looking for a retest of that neckline and probably a continuation or if we get some kind of bearish flag that uh, if that happened and we get a break then there is a possibility for that continuation to the downside Aussie USD still sideways uh, there is attempts to um, a reverse here but they are keep failing so if we go back to the daily you see that we are sitting at this uh, key support level where we had this uh, flash crash move uh, below that we had another uh, rejection and uh, we have uh, this down here is clearly the key support level so all eyes on this level as far as this holding Every time we attempt to break below it and we fail, there is a possibility of a push to the upside. But the day we see a strong break below it, then it's game over and we are going for more downside on this market. So that is the really your line in the sand for next week. Keep an eye on that. And of course, for more upside, we need to see a break above this for a deeper correction to, to the upside. So um, yeah, that it, that's it about this market. New Zealand USD, same scenario, a bit more weaker actually, because uh, I think I think this market objective is now to uh, reach uh, these levels down here at least. So uh, this uh, market could uh, give you a continuation move toward this level or uh, probably even lower toward this area so for next week uh, the first market objective is to uh, tag this low and if that broken there is more to it to the downside so uh, keep an eye on this area if we get a retest of that level could be a level to sell it back down toward this level if the market opens and uh, start pushing to the downside and break below this level then you have a short-term trade back down toward these areas to then be aware of the possibility of um, some kind of support yeah because uh, if that is the case that would mean uh, we're gonna reach this low and maybe have some troubles and below that we're gonna tag the last line of defense before the bigger dip and uh, as many of you knows i'm watching uh, this market on the higher time frame to do something like this which is a b c d completion down here so we are sitting just at that low on the monthly time frame and uh, a break below that will uh, surely send us to test this low and uh, after that we'll open the door for this whole move to the downside but since we're talking only about the next week keep an eye on this possibility as first scenario okay so uh, yeah that was it for today thanks a lot once again do not forget to hit that like button and if you want these updates each and every day and uh, not for only the major for all these and some more um morning videos uh, daily chats um, asking me question uh, learning by earning you are welcome to join our trading room all you need to do is go to my uh, website you have the link down here as you see and um, 
take a subscription uh, take the trial for uh, 14 days for only one dollar if you just want to try it you can cancel it whenever you want uh, no um, there is nothing to do more than click the cancel and uh, it's gonna be cancelled so uh, yeah guys once again thanks a lot and uh, see you next week bye bye